All right, good. Now, I'll do this a bit quicker this time just because what's taking me time is the writing. <laughs> when you think about the other case, how's it going to be different? What will, what will be different, okay? We'll have a look. I'll just do this in another color, right? Go back to the first line, right? If there's a minus here, then that minus will come along for the ride whenever you have an I. Do you agree with that? So this one will be a minus. What about this one? Well, it'll be minus I squared, right? Well, you'll get the I squared, and then the minus will also get squared, which will become a, just become a plus, right? So that's fine. What about this one? How many negatives will there be? There will be three. Two of them will cancel out, leaving one. Yeah? And then this last one over here, just go that way. Uh, we'll read that, right? Do you agree with that? Is that okay? So do you see what's happening? Now, how are these minuses going to interact with these minuses? Have a look. Thanks, Sergio. Thanks, Sergio. I'm going to have this minus here. Where did this minus come from before? It, it came out from pulling that I squared out. Did you notice that? But now I've got an extra minus there, so this is going to become plus, and then this one's going to become minus, right? And then everything else will be the same. For the same reason that I noticed before, the last term will still be an n, because this is still true. Do you agree with that? OK, so therefore, I'm just going to write this out. Having done all of those lines, I can say it's n0 minus, from there, n1i minus n2 plus n3 plus, that one will be a minus. There we go. Okay? So you can write these extra lines with your alternating signs just to be sure, but you will end up with this. Okay, you'll end up with this. We just add it. And then, yeah, all I have to do, look at the result you have to prove. Look at the result, look carefully at it, right? Do you see it has those alternating signs, right? The alternating signs that we wanted, right? But um, just have a look at the series that's there and the series we've got. There's something that we've got that's missing there. What's missing? Look at the numbers on the bottoms of the n whatevers. Yeah, uh, all of the um, all the odd numbers are gone. Did you notice that the one, three, five, seven, etc.? Why are they gone? They cancel. Look, see, see how this guy. Oh, wrong color. This guy and this guy. When I add them, clearly going to cancel, right? Uh, where's the next one along? It's going to be this one, which is negative, and this one, which is plus. And then the next one will be the fifth one and the fifth one, right? What about the nth one? Is that going to be an even one or an odd one? It's even because n is a multiple of four. Good, okay. So now I can just add these things, right? Therefore, one plus i, one minus i, right? Really, to do this long form, you should write these whole lines. You should do the straight substitution, okay? But I am going to, for the sake of time, skip over those. We saw all these red things they cancelled out. But the opposite is that you get now doubles of these. Yes, doubles of these every time. So I've got two of these. And then I've got two of, what have I got? Two of these. That's actually a minus, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I got two of these. And so on. And then I'll have two of the very last one. Huh. Uh, I wasn't supposed to get a two. Why have I got a two? Look at the result you're trying to prove. Look at the result you're trying to prove. What's on that right hand side? What's that root two? Where'd that come from? I don't have any root twos here. Where's the root two from? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, it's because I did this fancy into Moivre's theorem thing, right? I found that this was this. Well, this is exactly what's on the left hand side. Do you see it? So I can just switch it for this. I can write two root two to the n, this cos whatever business, right? That thing. Yeah, see that? Equals two of these, and two of these, and two of these. That's a heck of a lot of twos. And thankfully, I can clear out a lot of them. Do you see that? Yep. So, we are so very close. I've got root two to the n here, because I've canceled this two. I've got all of these guys. Well, I don't need that two anymore. I've got all of these guys. All the signs are right, just have a look at them. That should be a minus, sorry. No, yeah, that should be a minus, it's fine. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, now look carefully. 
The right hand side is perfect. It lines up exactly. The left hand side has this thing. That's good. And then it's got, what is that? What is that doing there? What on earth is that doing there? Hmm, now what I've got, like, they want this, they, they want this, and what I've got is, is this. Yes? Do you agree? So how does that turn into that? Remember, remember, how did I, um, how did I do this? How did I do that? How did I get rid of those, um, ida yens? Oh, I did it because n's not just any number. It's a multiple of four. Do you notice that? Okay. So I actually can work out what some of these are. For example, the first one, the first kind of n I can have, is going to be, what's the first multiple of four? It's four, right? So the first one will be cos four pi over four. Cos pi, cos pi, it's gonna be negative one. Very good. What's the next n gonna be? Eight. Eight pi on four. That's cos of two pi. Two pi, it goes all the way down, back up to? One. What's the next one? Twelve. Do you need me to... Do we need to go through it? Okay, now how's this related to this? Have a look. Have a look. Do you see? You see? This is just negative one to the one. Negative one squared. Negative one cubed. Right? I want it to go up and up and up. How's this related to the 4, 8, 12? Well, this is 4 on 4, isn't it? And this is 8 on 4. And this is 12 on 4. It's n on 4 every time. n on 4 every time. Okay? So therefore, I can replace this cos whatever thing. It just goes negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1. We actually have a fancy name for this. We call it a switching factor because it switches you back and forth and back and forth. In extension 1, you will meet it when you're doing general solution for sine. Okay? So on the basis of this, I actually should, I just ran out of space over there, I actually should have this as my argument for why I can replace that with that. Okay, This is my reason why, because I, I can establish the pattern.